Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you with null bending what is behind the thumb. So with I thread the, the needle already and we first start with the knot. But before I want to explain, null bending in my opinion is two fingers and one thumb and the needle goes through here. Very easy. This is the movement, hold it, there's a triangle, <coughs> sorry, and there goes the needle. So, we start always with a knot. So I think some tea, of course my throat is a little bit itchy. We have here the nut. And the thread has to be in the middle of your nail. Because here under comes the next loop. So, the working thread between your finger and your thumb. And then we have here the triangle and the needle goes through the thick part of the thumb, uh, the knot, thick part of the knot. So we hold this very loose, not pinching like this way, because it's going to hurt, just relax. And then we push the needle it goes very smooth. And you watch, I put this uh, little uh, tag between those fingers, and there you see the, the loop, and you see the loop is going smaller. And it goes under the other loop of your thumb. Pull the loop from your thumb, pull here. If you pull here, all those loops go just one straight line down. I pull this and I pull here and that we are doing I, when you are doing, when you are now bending a lot, you don't have to pull that. It goes out easier and automatically. Pull this, and then the needle goes through, and always in direction of your thumb, not this way, but in that direction. Pull gently. And the loop is going there. And another pull and pull. And this is what you see behind your thumb. There is a small loops which you create and what you will better see at the next stitch. So through the loop behind, under the thumb loop and under the working yarn. And gently, not fast. You are learning so. Pull from your thumb, pull, pull at its tail end, here under, 
under your thumb loop, under your working thread, and there you see the loop, this uh, lus, you, easy. In the beginning time you do that, pull and pull. It's a little bit trouble with the camera, but it goes well. Not too far, just, li just a little bit. Under. Hold it loosely. And here you can see those little loops. And those little loops are created by a needle that's to turn under your thumb loop and under the working thread. Pull. Pull gently, and there you see that little loop. And now I have to be careful because I'm filming, so I have to help that loop a little bit. And there you see when you uh, pull too strong, all your yarn and all the other things goes around your needle but you know don't want to have that so you pull and when you're starting the, the whole thing goes around your thumb and that's not what we want we want to have it all behind your thumb here you can see and you here you can see those loops so those loops, those little loops, they are created by the needle goes in and then it makes a turn. And there you can see how you create that small loop under your thumb and under your working thread. So, and then pull the thread. And there you have it. And in the beginning you have to pull this a little bit and you hold your row just like that and then you continue. That's it for now. Have fun with needle binding.